Hi, my name is Justin, and I will be here today showing you how to make your own custom notebook cooler for the Asus Triple E PC. As you see here, there's not a lot of components to it. One one inch binder, which you can find at almost any regular store, uh, Office Max. Those usually run around $2, $2.50. Uh, the extra equipment you're going to need are fans, according to what you'd like. Uh, I have some covers here, those are not necessary. Also what you're going to need is one USB cable, um, and here are the other tools that you will be needing. A uh, normal pair of scissors, a box cutter, a screwdriver, some duct tape. I picked this fake duct tape up at the dollar store, came three packs in a roll for just a dollar, and then your fans and USB cable. Uh, I personally did this because I had a big box of junk and I needed a cooler for my Asus EPC. The problem is, is the EPC does not have a custom made notebook cooler for it, as in most of them are very large. So I thought, well, why don't I make my own? So my first thought was to grab my box of random computer parts and rustle through for things that I could use. Well, I had a lot of extra case fans, even uh, some older ones, some... Um, heat sink fans, just stuff that you have every day that you can use. Okay, the first step that I would recommend is find the fan that you would like to use. Now, I have one hindrance for you. Be careful with what fan you use. This was the initial fan that I used. I had two of these. The USB port only puts out a limited amount of power. So you have to make sure that your fan lies within these capacities or else you may end up with a fan like this which is cut and not spliced and will never work again but after doing a little playing around I found two fans that were great one came off a small north bridge uh, heating unit and the other one came off an old AMD uh, heatsink cooler okay so first step is take your fan and place it over the top of the hole you wish to cut simply take your small uh, you pen and mark out how you're going to cut and make your cuts. After making your lines, simply take your razor blade and etch out all the lines that you'd like to make to insert your different fans. Okay, now we go into the inside. So now that you've gotten your holes cut, what you're going to need to do is take a USB cable as such, cut the end off it, and you will open it up and expose four different wire combinations here. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Okay, you have a green, a white, a black, and a red. For all intents and purposes, the only ones you'll use are the red and black. So you can go ahead and peel away the two additional ones. Again, you'll do the same thing on the fan which you intend to use. Go ahead and cut the ends, and just like you would think, red goes to red, black goes to black, Make your connections, and when you make your connections, be sure to take some tape and go over each connection independently and make sure that they never touch together because this will cause a short in your computer. Once you have this, try and become familiar with the easy layout to put your stuff. Uh, what I found is my USB cable, I wanted to come out the left side, so I put it over there. Um, I put in my two fans based here and just open cooling just for ventilation. Also, one thing that I'd like to mention is I'd recommend putting in these little stop pads and I put in three of them just to make sure that the fans are always just a little raised above actual completely closing on your, on your binder. Now, these were simply made just by the squares that I cut out of cardboard here. I cut them up into small chunks and taped them on as seen here. Now, once you have all your parts completed, you simply tape it in the order you would like then you have your binder here, nothing too fancy about it, okay, so simply put, you take your EPC, and with little or no modding, I'm going to actually show you what it looks like with the EPC off of it, or on it, and then simply plugs in as so, or just to show that the fans are working and in running order, I'm going to place my USB plug in here, alright, power up the machine. Alright, and as it's powering up you can see over here that both fans are completely functional and operational. Here's my EPC booting up. Alright, and just for further reference, 
Here's my BPC placed on it and with both fans running as you can see underneath there and as you see it's the perfect platform for my EPC 1000H. If you look from a side view here you have proficient cooling coming from underneath held up you have the air cool or the ventilated cooling in the back and the cooling up and underneath the fan area so if you would like to make your own EPC I recommend this highly in all it cost me a total of maybe three dollars and some extra computer parts that I had sitting around uh, it was a fun little project and I hope you all have as much fun making it as I did thank you for your time